Mega Max friends, this is your Chengdu Gaur. Hope you are all doing well and keeping good health. In today's lecture, I am going to cover the important questions on applied physics. Before going to enter into this applied physics question, I would like to let you all know that as per the analysis which I have done today, as per the question paper of PPS, the video which I have done the important concepts, around 75 plus marks were covered in today's paper. Hope you have done well and you are going to score good marks in PPS exam. Hoping to see the same pattern as well as I hope you will be getting same 75 plus marks even in applied physics. We are going to follow the important concepts which I have taken, concise the all the units and picked up the very important questions for the day. Let's look at the applied physics important questions. Before that, I would let you know the pattern that as it is a COVID pattern of which eight questions to be asked, of which you are going to attempt any five questions where you need to select plan A as well as plan B as I was telling in all the lectures the plan A is all about the unit 1 and unit 2 I would like to let you all know that please do work out unit 1, unit 2 why because if you are going to look at the past two question papers the courses which I have taken exam you will be asked 4 questions sometimes even 3 questions so please make sure to work out 1 and 2 units of the applied physics the questions and the concepts which I am going to teach you in today's video. Later, you can go either with 3 or 4 or 5. I would like to request you all to work out with the 3 or 4 instead of 5. It is up to you. I will make sure that to make in plan A 1, 2, 3 as well as in plan B, in plan B 1, 2 and 4. It doesn't mean dear students you are not supposed to work out. It is up to you. If you are a hard worker, if you want to score better mark, you can even work out even the fifth unit of in B2. I mean you can go with 1, 2, 3, 5 or 1, 2, 4, 5. Why? Because the COVID pattern is that the first two units will be getting at least three units and two you two questions maybe will be asked from the other two units. Or sometimes the first four questions will be asked from the unit one and two, whereas the remaining will be of one in time. So, dear students, please follow this and do not skip this video. Watch till the end of the video. I am going to give you all the important tips and how to work out the derivations, problems, as well as definitions too. Let's enter into the unit one. I have taken the first and foremost question, which is very very important. That is Schrodinger wave equation and it derived it. Derived and its significance very important. Is asked many times. Make sure of this. I'm going to let you all know. Highlight few questions of this applied physics where two to three questions of which I'll be letting you one important question out of that. Why? Because I've taken only few concepts from all the units and not the entire unit. But the next thing is D. De Broglie's hypothesis, this wave equation, as well as the construction and working principle of Davidson's and German expression proving De Broglie's hypothesis wavelength. This both are related. We can expect out of these three any one question for sure, dear students, in the coming exam tomorrow or day after tomorrow, which you are going to take. Next, wave particle duality may be a seven mark question, it is asked. And explain Eisenberg principle and its application is also one of the important questions which is asked several times and related with that the black body radiation and its laws and the Planck radiation laws and assumptions with respect to black body out of these any one question will be asked for sure even the photoelectron as well as the Compton effect will be asked along with the examples. This question also been covered several times in the question paper dear students. And I have taken one short question which is 1D potential box. What I need to tell you is till here you will be getting one question and till from here you will be getting another question. I mean it is not a direct question in 1A and B will be there. If one question is for 10 mark, the other may be for 5 or that may be for 7 or 8. In few cases they are asking even the C also, if the length of the syllabus is too long, so they will be asking 5 plus 5 plus 5. This is all about the first question, which I am going to let you all know that from these points of you are going to get the first question, and from these points of you are going to get the second question from unit 1 dear students. Excuse me. If you look at few papers, few courses, it is not asked two questions, whereas three questions were asked from the first and second unit. How? 
one and a half question from the first unit and remaining one and a half question from the second unit like 1a b is from first unit 2a is from first unit whereas 2b is from the second unit and 3a and b are also from the second unit or 1 2 3 4 may be from the first and second unit be prepared with one and two units for sure any course which you are taking for the covid pattern next let's look at the second unit the first and the foremost question which i have kept here is very very important that is hall effect derive its value and <coughs> later intrinsic and eccentric semiconductors and explain along with the diagram this is also very important and the difference between the drift current and diffusion current out of these there will be one question for sure dear students i have kept on the board the pattern in such a way that how the questions will be asked it is not asked for the syllabus dear students please try to understand <coughs> and the next is the carrier concentration p and type calculate this is also one of the very very important this may be asked from 10 or uh, or 8 mark calculate the carrier concentration for p and i as well as the intrinsic semiconductors or p n junction diode characteristics may be for 7 mark the combination if the question is asked even the zener diode is also very very important along with its characteristics as well as bipolar junction transistor and fermi energy level for eccentric conductor as well as recombination and regeneration answers from here to here there may be one question and from here to here there may be the other question dear students please make sure to concentrate and all these concepts which i have done in unit one unit two make sure that if four questions are going to come from this this is the pattern how you are going to get and do not expect direct fitting mark there may be problems there may be derivations there may be I mean the explanation or the working principle along with the neat sketch. Please students, I hope you have gone through the video which I have done on how to write a theory paper to score good marks. If not, please go through this channel and go through it and work out accordingly even the applied physics. Get it here students. And in the coming, I am going to give you a few more tips. Please do not skip this. Please look at the third unit. The third unit is all about the PN diode. And LED characteristics and properties very very important. If you are going to read this, make sure to work on it. And avalanche photo diode till here you may be getting one question. I mean, uh, if it is A and solar cell characteristics and working principle as well as the semiconductor and laser diode recombination mechanism may be one of the question asked several times for the five R. And what is the important question here is LED as well as the solar cell or the semiconductor laser diode can be expected from the unit 3. Dear students, do not just pick and place type you are going to read. You are supposed to make note of each and every point, which question I need to read first, when because certain questions have continuity with the relations. So make sure that be clear with the definition, be clear with the explanation, be clear with the working principle, applications, as well as if any advantages, limitations followed by any diagram. Please do carry pencil to work out for the diagrams. Why? Because for the two courses which I have done the exam in Relation, where few students of the college, other college students, whomsoever it is coming, they are coming without pencils. They are coming without uh, the even the scales, without the calculator. Please make sure to carry, as I told that, use good quality pens, black and blue, as well as the pencil for the diagrams, and even calculator to the calculation. Why? Because applied physics is not only about the theory, you have even problems also related to the concepts, please work on even that. Let's look at the fourth unit. This is very, very interesting. You have studied already in your intermediate and you have prepared even for your midterm examination too. Why? Because it is all about the lasers, different types, applications, as well as the working principle, as well as the diagram about the ruby laser, about CO2, HE and NE2 laser. Compulsory a question comes if it is maybe 8 or 10 mark from this ruby laser concepts or CO2, HE2 along with the application. And they are asking optical fiber also sometimes dear students and even the fiber losses also may be asked. Make sure to cover even these questions also and the modes of propagation in optical fiber. Sometimes there are certain small definitions 
which may be asked from the 7 mark or the 5 mark from the unit 4. This is all about the acceptance angle, acceptance score as well as the numerical averages. Please make sure to cover the fourth unit. Why? Because it's very small and it's very easy. You can write on your own. Write only in point voice, bulleted points. Do not write the paragraphs. Make sure to do all the diagrams very neat and clear enough. Let's look at the fifth unit. If you are willing to work on the fifth unit, it is up to you. You can work out or you can skip it. But whereas the first and second, you need to work out all the questions here, students. And out of these three, any one you need to work out very well. Uh, I mean, all the concepts which are writing on the board and do not just pick only the important here. Why I'm really highlighting the star mark there, three or five star is that those questions were asked many number of times in the previous year question papers and as for the applied physics, those are very important questions also. Let's look at the fifth unit. The Maxwell equation is very, very important. This question may be asked from the unit five. And sometimes unexpected questions are also coming. If you look at the equation paper of uh, M2 or M1, for example, of CSE branch and EC, it is completely different. Not even a single one mark is uh, matching with the question papers. So make sure that unexpected questions may be also be getting in the exam. Do not expect that all the time important. That there is an app focused on all the topics here. Please make sure of that. Next. Derive clauses and homoceptic bosonic relation as well as permeability and susceptibility and magnetic materials classification very important that may be asked for five mark and electric current and continuity equation is one of the very very important make sure that you may be getting this or this in the exam and ferro electron and piezo electron its different definition and its differences and internal and local field derivation and the expression is also one of the important you can expect this as one and this as two. This has three of any which compulsory for seven or eight mark and the remaining will be for seven mark and polymerization in dielectric current and its types dear students. Hope you are following all this and make sure to work out any three units for 100% guarantee and you'll be scoring better mark and do not just pass an engineering that won't pay you anything by the end of the final year. Please score 70 plus percentage of the mark by the end of final year so that you'll be placing in good organizations and companies. Dear students, the COVID pattern is a scoring thing. You can score good marks and do not neglect working out these questions which you have done on the board. And do not forget to watch the video which you have not gone through till now. How to write the theory paper and score good marks. Use the bulletin points. Write down step by step I mean if any calculations put in. Uh, brackets the answer, carry the calculator, draw the diagrams only in pencil and label them and write the headings in black ink and write all the remaining answer in blue and highlight the important points in the answer in pencil. Hope you are liking my videos. Do share my channel and subscribe to this channel. Hoping to see a comments in the comment section after writing the exam. Good luck and all the best for your exam. God bless you all. Thank you.